Good morning, boys and girls. Here's Thursday's story, Gray Friars Bobby by Ruth Brown. I'm fed up with sightseeing, moaned Tom. It's too hot and I'm thirsty. Well, you're in luck, said Becky. Here's a fountain, have a drink. It's a drinking fountain for people and dogs, said Tom, reading the inscription. A tribute to the affectionate fidelity of Gray Friars Bobby. In 1858, this faithful dog followed the remains of his master to Gray Friars Churchyard and lingered near the spot until his death in 1872. Let's go to the churchyard, said Tom. Do you think we would have seen Bobby the dog if we'd come in here hundreds of years ago? Of course you would, said the gardener. He had been lying here in the sun in the special place that was his home for the last years of his life. Back then, you would have found him sound asleep, dreaming of the days before he lived in the churchyard. Those, those were the days. Those were the days when Bobby used to help his master, old Jack. Uh, Jack, guard the castle, which were brought into the city. Oh, excuse me. Guard the cattle, which were brought into the city each evening for market the following day. The story goes that in the mornings after work, Jack and Bobby would visit the cafe owned by Miss Ramsey, who would always serve special tidbits for Bobby, a bone, a bun, or even a piece of pie. On their rare days off, they'd walk for miles into the hills where old Jock had lived as a boy. But in the winter, they would stay in the city, still guarding the cattle, despite the freezing winds and bitter cold that evening. <clears throat> Eventually, it made old Jock ill, ill, and he died. And on a gray morning, Bobby followed his master for the last time to the churchyard of Greyfriars. He got as close as he could to old Jock, and that's where he stayed. But how cold and hungry he was that night, huddled against the great granite stones. Remember the cafe? If he went there by himself, would there still be a bone, a bun, or a piece of pie saved for him? Of course there was. And when Mrs. Ramsey found out where Bobby was living, there was food for him every day. The people were so touched by the loyalty of the little dog that they looked out for him and looked out after him. He was given his own engraved collar and water bowl and best of all, official permission to live in the churchyard. And that's where he stayed for 14 years. Wow. What a loyal dog. His owner died and he never left his gravesite. Until finally, he too was buried there, near his beloved master, old Jack. Oh, what a story, said Becky. Hmm, agreed, said the gardener. Bobby never forgot his old friend. I don't think we'll ever forget Bobby, said Tom. The end. I hope you enjoyed Thursday's story, boys and girls.